Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is your extra, extra, read all about it, for January 3rd, 2021. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe like comment and share these videos someone may be enlightened by them also to my subscribers welcome back and to any new subscribers welcome to the channel i'm so glad you're here you are the backbone of this channel and i greatly appreciate you so i don't know why but i'm feeling like i'm forgetting something you know i'm i don't know <clears throat> Anyways, um, yeah, extra, extra, read all about it for January 3rd, 2021. I couldn't show um, the snow earlier, but because the light has, you know, because it was sunny today and it was snowy, and I'm um, not snowy, but it was it's snowy outside, right? But it was sunny, so the light was too bright for anybody to see any. But yeah, see, it's snowy out there. <laughs> So, we're just going to go ahead with this extra, extra read all about it, right? For January 3rd, 2021. I hope everything, everything is going okay with everyone out there. You know, um, you know, finding happiness during these times, right? Best you can. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see if any of these resonate with anyone. If they do. Maybe there is a message in this reading for you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, oh, let's see. Okay. That looks, that's a little chunk right there. That's good enough. So, let's see if you guys resonate with any of these. Okay. Somebody may drive a truck. And this one's been popping out like a couple times. Uh, past few reads, somebody driving a truck here, maybe a black truck, I don't know. What kind? I don't know. <laughs> um, we also have somebody may like to live in this cottage, or may live in a cottage-like setting, you know, in this, that's what it looks like to me, like a cottage, <laughs> you know. Um, somebody might be a knife collector, fancy knives, you know. I used to do this until they all, you know, got left behind with no, let's not go there. Anyways, um, we do have somebody that enjoys fine art, you know, statues, going to the museum, stuff like that, right? Oh, okay. And you know what? Look, I see snow in the mountains, so it looks like, you know, there might be a few of you that live in an area where it's snowy and mountainy. It's not really mountainy here where I'm at. I'm in the Midwest. It's kind of, I mean, I don't know. I suppose you can go on some little snow sleds down the hill or something. I don't know. It's not like a mountain skiing area, but somebody out there might live in an area like that. And, of course, we have some wine drinkers out there, right? Like to indulge in a little glass of wine now and then. <laughs> right? All right. So, okay. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and move on Uh for this extra extra read all about it for january 3rd 2021 we're going to get the general energy of the collective right general energy for the collective is now remember you guys just res uh, take what resonates and leave the rest don't manifest weird stuff into your life <laughs> all right who out there is thinking about three-party situations no i'm just kidding <laughs> Well, you know, this could be celebration. <clears throat> Somebody could be celebrating uh, something or, you know, it could be three-party situation, but it could just be, you know, people coming together and, you know, celebrating for some, some reason or another, right? Okay. Let's go. My, my street has been very busy. Uh this past uh hour or two it's kind of strange because it's snowy and you know when i went out there earlier it was really 
it was like scarce like ain't nobody want to drive in this i don't <laughs> i drove uh, like i needed to yesterday and i i went and i got all the supplies i needed and i came home because i'm feeling like i ain't gonna drive for a couple days and i think a lot of people might be going through the same thing like that <laughs> i don't know i don't see anybody out there all right <clears throat> let's see what pops out first somebody is holding on tightly to something to someone to an idea to their money to something maybe they're holding on to an illusion something that's not really there you know what i mean somebody here might think that they have all kinds of options or they just think they have something that in they really don't it's an illusion but for some reason somebody is hanging on to it like it's a real something like but it's not here not from what i can see and, and they might be headed towards something that is just an illusion oh no well we'll see that's just these three cards that come out we don't know what kind of connections are going to come out next <coughs> so let's see let me get a few more cards for this extra, extra read on without it for January 3rd, 2021, January 3rd. Oh, it's like this. January 3rd, 2021, January 3rd, 2021. So listen up, you guys. Front and center issue is that there's a burden here. Somebody is carrying a big burden, something that, um, you know. But, but as you see with this Ten of Rods here also, this is about ending cycles. So somebody might be ending a cycle that's been burdensome. You know? Yeah. So what is this one here? Ooh, all right been seeing this guy around so basically it seems that somebody who is holding on to whatever this illusion is right is headed straight uh towards whatever this is whatever they think they have or are dealing with but they're coming you know with deception they're coming with lies you know they're not coming with any kind of honesty or truth um somebody here is uh is involved in some sort of union they could be in school they could be married they could be uh working at a job where there's a contract they could be a business person they could be a spiritual person they could be a, a spiritual practitioner they could be a healer of some sort but we do have the hair event card here and the hair event okay <clears throat> here's another thing somebody may be headed towards uh someone because they might think that they're married or that they're in a committed relationship or something like that so they they might be coming to check for themselves uh because they don't know if it's an illusion or not there they can't get it out of their head that something is going on here i you know i don't know something like that um and, and it's, this has been a burden for them you know this has been a burden carrying on now it could also be that somebody is going to tell somebody uh who they may have placed as an option that they are married or that they were married or that they or something like that you know and this is a burden that they've been carrying because they want to let somebody know that this is what's going on now in the past or, or in the past or previous past they may have lied about something in regards to that and what i see here is we have the emperor in reverse and the emperor in the reverse is a liar he is <coughs> he's a person that <coughs> oh my gosh i'm just gonna drink a water real quick <clears throat> the emperor is is a person who just doesn't think properly isn't thinking right you know they lie they cheat um they uh they're selfish um they they you know they don't really think uh before they take action so a lot of the stuff that they deal with or the, a lot of the stuff they do it fails or it's just not good the the emperor also in the reverse is a manipulator 
So <clears throat> this person may be trying to head towards an, an individual who who they may either either reveal that they are married or they want to check that they're married or something like that because this has been burdensome to this person. Uh, possible, you know, it could be possible that this burden has caused this imbalance in the emperor and that's why he's in the reverse. But, you know, <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is crazy right now. I don't like to blame it on throat chakra stuff. Because <clears throat> throat chakra is like... You can't speak or inability to. And, you know, you guys can see I can speak pretty darn well. <clears throat> and I'm not, it's not like it's it's the emperor speaking. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. So, basically, we have this guy. He's in the reverse. He's not doing well, you know. And the burden has to do with a marriage, illusions, and not being able to let go of something. And part of that something could be some sort of lie or some sort of deception, right and it, it uh, this kind of you know what i'm feeling this is what i'm feeling so easy all that talk and it just came out simply guilt guilt this is what why he is unbalanced he is riddled with guilt he's feeling guilt about the lies that that of the past and about uh, moving on the chariot in another direction about treating somebody possibly <clears throat> damn like a, a an option i can't i really can't i'm having a problem speaking so that's what i see here you see that maybe you know maybe somebody's energy doesn't want me to say that but that's what it is guilt someone is riddled with guilt wow A lot of cars going by. I don't live on, you know, with this weather, it's, I, I don't get it. I think the neighbors are very, uh, you know, popular. I don't know. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. You see her? She likes nature. She likes to go out. She can see her with her little bunny rabbit, you know, um, and her little pentacle. She's happy and she's comfortable. Now, uh, somebody here could be uh, married or dealing with a uh queen of pentacles could be in some sort of union with this person or maybe this queen of pentacles refuses to let go of a marriage that you know she might be delusional wanting to hang on so tightly to it i see here that uh brian no oh he likes to lay on my stuff that i'm my projects like straight up lays on the project you know <laughs> Um, I do see here that this emperor in reverse is headed towards a wish fulfillment that has been burdensome to him. There, he could have went to uh, a queen of pentacles that was burdensome or, or maybe, you know, another thing that this could be is that this emperor could have treated this queen of pentacles like an option when she actually wasn't and, um... may have been holding on to a marriage somewhere else it could be that too um it could also be um <clears throat> yeah the guilt because somebody treated the queen of pentacles like an option this was a burden to the per a person or it could also be that somebody went to a queen of pentacles and she was a big old burden but you know she's in the upright so i don't i don't quite think that she was a burden to be quite honest so I do think it's the guilt thing and, and somebody feels guilty for treating this queen of pentacles like uh, and this was a wish fulfillment person like an option when uh you know she could have wanted some sort of matrimony you know what i'm saying <clears throat> and it's the emperor that did this he treated this queen of pentacles you know maybe this could be a different person uh also and one of the options what is the final card here yeah Somebody wants to offer this Queen of Pentacles uh, like a, a, um, a token gift of some sort of peace offering. And I think it's this, this Emperor in reverse because he is so riddled with guilt that his life and himself altogether is just totally unbalanced. He can't get it together. She got him fucked up. <laughs> Pretty much. Right? And he's going to try to come in with some sort of, you know, 
gift because he just can't hang anymore. He's 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 tripping. Right? We also have a queen of rods here, so there could be a queen of rods uh involved here some way or another. Now this could be a family member, it could be another relationship, you know, uh, aunts, uncles, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, whatever. This could be a female family member or a relationship that this person needs to make a choice. Now are you gonna, you know, cut the umbilical cord or get rid of your ex or, or what? You know, this could be an ex too, you know. This person definitely trying to build his money, not really making a choice on whether or not to stay with you know this queen of rods or deal with this queen of rods or whatever i do see them working on their finances and and really mourning the loss over a relationship which i which could be with a queen of cups too you know so let me see we got fire we got water we got pentacles magician oh queen of cups trying to possibly manifest something a new adventure with a lover oh there she is the empress so yeah we, you know what, we basically have, uh, you know, well, we have the three of cups there, three party situation. So somebody here is needing to make a choice on someone because the emperor, the emperor and the empress belong together. The emperor doesn't belong with the queen of pentacles, although, uh, you know, he could be married to a queen of pentacles, which is, was one of these options that he had because it could, you know, it could, let me see what happens with this empress. Uh, he he's gonna want to heal something with her because he's gonna see that all of these you know the queen of pentacles queen of rods where's the other one queen of cups the he was just manifesting you know queens right <clears throat> but then when he manifested when when a, a true love came in the empress then i think his world kind of went all haywire so yeah this is definitely about all kinds of three-party situations now um the empress could actually be <clears throat> because if he's wanting to offer something to this queen of pentacles that the empress could be in the energy of the queen of pentacles you know this is somebody he cannot let go of but she might be working on herself and her money and all that stuff because if he treated her like an option you don't treat the empress like an option she'll just cut you off she'll just she's good she don't want to deal with that so this could be something too now another story i'm getting is that this could also be somebody other than the empress <clears throat> and he has not even realized who his empress is yet yeah that too and the empress is just chilling doing her own thing moving forward in her life while this emperor in reverse is on balance and it could be you know what he could be also uh trying to tie up loose ends with all these extra queens too maybe end situations with them so he can approach his empress that's another thing there's just so many there's so many different scenarios here you know and nobody is on the same path at the same exact time you know but we do know that this i feel like this emperor is feeling a a, a massive amount of guilt somehow some way i don't know guilty for something so let's go ahead and go to the Psychic Tarot of the Heart and see what comes out with these. <clears throat> All right. Let us see. All right. Share the love. And that's what he did. <laughs> that was the problem. He shared love with a lot of options. And maybe he was sharing this love because he was trying to find maybe a wifey. Because, you know, the hair fence right there. He could have been trying to, yeah, look, he was looking for love, you know what I mean? And to him, just all these situations have just been burdens. But there, there is some, there's someone that he is hanging on to. This is the lover's card. And the lovers for this individual is just burdensome. So maybe this person hasn't had really good luck in love, this emperor. And, and now is trying, and maybe he has figured out. And, you know, the lover, the love card, that's also like the six of cups. He's reminiscing about somebody from the past that brings him a lot of burden and possibly a lot of guilt look but he's so busy that's why he's so unbalanced he has so much going on he needs to find balance in his life but he can't because he's got all this crap going on he can't even you know figure out who's who and what's what too many people here 
too many ladies, too many people, can't figure out which one is the empress. You know, I mean, I don't understand this. <laughs> How could you not know who an empress is? Success and growth, right? He may actually figure it out. He may actually figure it out. One of these queens is the empress, I think, and he's trying to figure it out. Because we don't know what energy... Shoot, that Empress could be all those those Queen's energies all put in one. Because, you know, the Empress is every, all the Queen's into one, right? She's already mastered all of those uh, aspects of all the Queen's, you know? Look at that. Challenging times. And the challenging time here is getting this wish fulfillment. Finding balance. Getting the wish fulfillment. Success and growth with the person that they realize that they want, Right? But it's not good to it's not good for this em emperor to go in anywhere if they're imbalanced. Yeah, see this this fool. They need to meditate or do something like that. They need to seek some solace, you know, so they can. Um, and, and you know, they they do want to bring a little gift into somebody to make things right, to make things better. Now, if somebody is riddled with guilt because they want to separate from a Queen of Pentacles to go towards, you know, the Empress eventually, and that's one of the loose ends they're tying up, then, you know, yeah, there's some imbalance there. There's some feelings of guilt there because maybe somebody might have gotten to a relationship with still with baggage. You know what I'm saying? You're not really, you're supposed to heal first, right? If you break up with someone, you don't just jump right into and then get married or whatever. Like, no, that's so, you know... Um, either that or maybe somebody was already involved with somebody and he figured out, he or she figured out that they don't really have feelings like that for them anymore or whatever. I don't know, you know. But uh, somebody is feeling guilty. Somebody is seeking, uh, you know, thinking about a past new love, trying to find balance in their life. These are things that need to be done. It's going to be a challenging time and it's going to be a lot of work. But if you want to find happiness in your life, it's... You know, and then love and all that stuff. You got to put in the work. Okay. All right, you guys. So um, if it, this resonated with anyone out there, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, also, uh, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, and loving types with nothing to fear. As long as we stay calm and cheerful, right? Also, um, uh, yeah, my new channel, you know, if you click, if you click, up there it'll take you to it if you want to check it out there's really not much there yet <laughs> i'm still trying to figure it out but you know I'm, I'm gonna get hopping on it on the entry uh, over there for today but yeah you know check it out if you want or wait like a little bit <laughs> see there will be a little build up of videos or something i don't know anyhow thank you so much uh, for, for joining me here today uh for this extra extra read all about it for january 3rd 2021 i'm mona this is kaleidoscope dreams tarot and i will speak to you next time bye